Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Feed Me Friday. This is the leftover fat from when I made burgers and meatballs. Um, don't throw out the fat. You can reuse it to cook with. And you know what? It would help if I turn my scale on. Thinking it's kind of funny. I've been doing this for so long now and I still can't eyeball it. I don't trust my eyes. Um, I like using the scale because here's the thing. In the past, when I did trust my eyes, I just gradually kept adding more. And then sometimes I'd be like, well, I'm really hungry today. So let me just add a little more. Yeah, I, I can't I can't do that. I can easily put on weight very quickly. Um a bit redundant saying it like that but anyway um I was thinking too about uh I don't know why I think it's easy for me to put on weight because I've reached goal weight I've been here for a while and I try to get the numbers just right it's so annoying it's annoying that I'm like that it's like it's got to be exactly this it's like I don't have to do that it's not that big of a deal if it's just like a gram or two off. Um, anyway, uh, I was thinking like, I do have to be careful with what I eat because if the amount that I eat starts to go up, my weight will also follow. It's, it's, it, it's just how it works. And that's okay because I don't actually need the extra food. I'm not, um, burning, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know who knows how much I'm burning. Cause it's like, well, you need to do some testing, right? You know, like, whenever. Anyway, speaking of testing, um, in our diabetic group, I often get the question whether or not, uh, cinnamon works. So it's like, it's a specific kind, Ceylon cinnamon. And one of the guys in our group used cinnamon in addition to changing his diet dramatically and exercise. And I think he used, um, krill oil too. And I mean, he, he got his A1C to go from 10.6 to 5.6 in a little over a hundred days. So that's pretty amazing. Now he believes the cinnamon played a part in reducing the numbers by at least 20%. Um, it is, I, I I'm not going to doubt him. Um, that's, you know, that's what he believes. Uh, so what I would say for anyone else out there who wanted to test it's the kind of thing that's kind of hard to test because you'd have to keep everything else exactly the same and only change the variable of cinnamon. So if I was going to do a test like that, I think what I would do is I would eat the same thing for three days, which you could easily do that by having like, um, I don't know, eggs. Or let's say, let's say you had like toast, eggs with toast. And you have that and you check your blood sugar, have it like a few days in a row. So you get an idea of what your blood sugar average is. And then for the next three days, you have the same exact thing around the same time, if you can, and then you have the cinnamon. So that would tell you if the cinnamon works, but if you got rid of or if you added the cinnamon and got rid of the bread at the same time, then it's hard to know which was the thing that changed the numbers. Uh, wash my hands, get some coffee. This is winter wonderland coffee. This is really good. It's a very, um, nutty kind of coffee. It's by Christopher bean brand. I've got a dash of salt, um, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of heavy cream and a scoop of collagen. So I was thinking, um, when people make a claim, I'll, question, you know, what kind of evidence they have to back it up. So what will happen is, um, someone will say, uh, apples don't cause me any problems. And I'll be like, Oh, okay. Well, what, what's your blood sugar after you eat it? And they'll say, well, I don't check my blood sugar. I'm like, well, how do you know then that apples don't cause you problems as a diabetic? The only way you know is to test the numbers because you can't feel the damage going on or if you do get the damage, you don't link it to diabetes. So, um, my mom, I remember before we started this diet, 
she would not feel good for days. Like, and we never, we never linked it to the high blood sugar ever. When we started lowering, getting her blood sugar down, she started having more and more good days. And then every once in a while, she'd have like several days in a row where she wouldn't feel good. And I'd be like, did you eat something? Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have eaten. <laughs> She'd be like, uh, maybe. She didn't want to tell me about it because she knew, you know, that that was what was causing the problem. Um, but we, it was a general standard of three days of not feeling good. Um, which it's funny. It's the same thing with me. It's like having sugar gives me like three days of not feeling good. But anyway, um, yeah, so for her, there would, we could finally make the direct correlation because if her diet was on point, she generally felt really good. But then, um, if she had something off, we had the three days of feeling bad. So, um, we changed our Thanksgiving plans. It's currently Wednesday. Uh, this would normally be prep day for us. We'd be getting a lot done and stuff, but, um, my husband was pointing out with our youngest daughter still being sick and not being able to eat a lot. And then my mom not being able to eat a lot. I mean, praise God, she is eating. Um, Thanksgiving would be a pretty sad affair for the two of them not being able to eat very much. Plus, um, Faith doesn't come up and down the stairs just because it's, it's too hard. When she did it last time, um, it brought on the nausea so bad. And I've said before, here's the thing about my youngest daughter. She was the kind of kid who, if she fell flat on her face, she would pop back up and say, I'm okay. She was a kid who was pulling her own teeth out by herself. She didn't need any help from any of us because for her, it wasn't that big of a deal. She has a very high pain threshold. So ever since she's been sick, it's kind of thing where it's like, if she's crying over the pain, you know it has to be very bad. So going up and down the stairs makes her cry. And you know, that tells me it's, it's, it's real bad. So anyway, um, she's upstairs and it's like, it's kind of sad to think of all of us eating Thanksgiving dinner downstairs without her or yeah, we could try to bring everything up, but then my mom's downstairs and we're all eating. It's no matter what, it just doesn't work. So we decided we're going to, um, skip making all the food and stuff. And we're just going to have a day of Thanksgiving as in, you know, just finding things to be thankful. We're going to spend time together. Um, and it's, it's going to be a good day. Now, my oldest daughter and I are going out to lunch today. We're going to go to a steakhouse. Um, she was the only one who was sad about not having Thanksgiving. And I said, well, how about we go to the steakhouse instead, which is something she'd been wanting to do anyway for a while. So there we go. Uh, let me know how you guys did for Thanksgiving. Like, um, were you able to stay the course? Did you just have a little bit off or did you just like jump completely off? Um, I mean, no judgment here. I've said before, um, you know, I had, I did things kind of differently each year. Um, and this would be another year that we're doing things differently, but whatever, man, it's not, it's not even about the food anymore. It's like, what fun thing do we get to do together that day? So that's, that's the most important thing. Uh, let's see. Need a little bit of butter. Got my steak, cheesy scrambled eggs. Um, you guys probably noticed I cut the fat off first because I just don't like to eat globby fat. It's so gross. But in this, nice and crispy, better than bacon. A little bit of Malden salt. I finally bought a new container was almost completely out. It took me a year to go through it because I only ever use it for breakfast. Maybe sometimes on something else as a snack, but yeah, that's it. All right. That is all. I will talk to you guys later. Second cup of coffee. This is vanilla buttercream mixed with, let's see, it's vanilla buttercream from Kitty Town Coffee mixed with caramel macchiato from eight o'clock coffee. 
So she really couldn't taste the vanilla buttercream, but now it's like really, really good. All of it mixed together is fabulous. Anyway, I poured in some cream and a little bit of salt, scoop of collagen. Um, I don't add butter to the to this cup, otherwise I would never be able to eat lunch. Just got home from lunch out with my daughter. We went to the steakhouse, put a picture up, and now I'm having a cup of coffee, two tablespoons heavy cream, two tablespoons butter, um, scoop of collagen, dash of salt, and this is a pecan praline by Shady Maple Country Market or Market, I, I can't remember at all. And that's it. And that was actually it for the day. I had no room for any more food. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. This video is brought to you by my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who has everything you need and nothing you don't. Bye.